Good morning, McGraw and Kelly. Mm. All right. Yesterday, uh, I believe there was a rock tied to the Dow, but a lot of that had to do with Facebook. What happened? We have to talk about yesterday? <laughs> <laughs> we just, just touch on it. Just a little bit. Okay. The Dow Jones average fell 335 points to a level of 24,611. This drop of over 1% brought us down about 8% from the peak of the market back in January. So I want to put that in perspective. Um, technology was let down, and basically, if you own a tech stock, it went down yesterday. But Facebook was a big story. Um, you know, so remember, the stocks that tend to go up the fastest sometimes tend to drop the quickest as well. Yeah, uh, um, there, were, there were a lot of extracurricular activities going on with uh, Facebook and social media. What was the full brunt of the story yesterday? Well, Facebook hit fell, fell 7%. That's the full brunt on Facebook. Uh, basically, it's a public outcry over third-party access to users' information. So Facebook is always basically data mining information. You search this, you do that, you comment this, that. They're, they're data mining your information. Of course, they want to advertise to your information. That information is supposed to be private to Facebook. Um, there's a third party, Cambridge Analytica, that ended up having some access. They were supposed to destroy that access after their initial use of it. They failed to destroy it. So some people argue it's not Facebook's fault, but bottom line is people's eyes are being open to what the social media data mining what's taking place there yeah so you know it, it's interesting because facebook wasn't hacked right you would think oh they they stole the information and used it no 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 facebook wasn't hacked this was information they got and then used it would be like if somebody went into your bank and got your information, the bank gave it to them, and then the, this third party were to use and abuse your private information. Yes, yeah, and, and the key word there is abuse. They right. did what they were not supposed to, but you're right. You know, and social media is, is, is very, very powerful, and you know, every time you answer a question on the Internet, whether it's Amazon, Facebook, Google, you're being data mined. Right. You're being looked at. Right. Um, but I think the problem is I get that Facebook is mining my data, but I never gave Cambridge Analytica the right to use my data. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and also you know, the power of social media. You know, this shows you how, you know, it's a 7 percent hit yesterday, uh, probably a buck or two down today on the opening. Uh, so it's, it's continuing. But it's very powerful how Facebook and Twitter and Snapchat and Instagram you know, is in society. I mean, heck, uh, yesterday, Weinstein's company filed bankruptcy. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. think about what Twitter, Me Too, and the different things did and how fast that went from a very profitable company to not only not profitable and struggling, and you got to remember, they own a lot of movies that are still very profitable movies to be sold a lot of different places and yeah. watch. Yeah. Uh, but it's it's bankrupt. Yeah. Uh, because of bad, really awful decisions and the impact of social media quickly through things. Yeah. yeah. Interesting point. All right, that's uh, Facebook. What about Oracle? They has they what what did they say yesterday? Uh, they reported earnings yesterday. Uh, you know, earnings for some companies right now is very misleading because of the tax code. You know, they reported a a big $4 billion loss because they took almost a $7 billion charge based on the corporate tax structure and the code and all that. Bottom line is their cash flow was good. The earnings were actually okay. Uh, but it was disappointing relative to cloud sales. Their, their cloud business was up 30%. And Wall Street's taking that as a disappointing because they thought their cloud business was growing faster. And that's always interesting to watch. But, you know, just like social media is, is on this high growth rate, there's businesses uh, out there with technology that's just growing at paces we can't imagine. Years ago, every time Walmart expanded, they had to build a store. Right. They did it really fast. But social media, the Internet, stuff is growing so fast, it's phenomenal. And that's part of the reason these stocks have gone up this fast, but it's also some quick disappointments if they don't meet the, meet the targets of what the analysts are hoping.
Yeah, it's all good points. What about uh, today, uh, Dwayne Thomas? Uh, today, big news is today starts the two-day Fed meeting with Jay Powell, and everybody wants to hear, as I'll use the phrase, Fed speak. Uh, tomorrow we'll hear the uh, impact of it, uh, tomorrow afternoon of, of what them, they think. The market itself should be flat today. We're talking up a little bit, down a little on the opening. So after a really hard day yesterday, it's kind of bounced back to, oh, we're, we're, we, we want to see what the next bit of news is right now. And that's what's taking place today. Dwayne Thomas with uh, Stephen Nicholas. Have yourself a good day. Thanks for checking in. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Sounds great. Thank you. 643 here, Big Five.